All right. Now let's take the same barrier height, but make it thicker. Same structure, it just make the barriers thicker. Uh, what you see is that indeed the resonance almost does not move, a little bit the excited state moves, but the ground state doesn't move, but it gets much sharper. It goes along with this, we're confining the electrons for longer times, so the cavity Q or the resonance line width gets narrower. The cavity Q gets larger, the resonance line width gets smaller. The resonance time is a, gets longer, okay, as you make the barriers thicker. Or, you say, my hopping rates are getting smaller, right? The barriers are getting thicker, the, barriers, the hopping rates to tunnel in get smaller. That means the rate of me staying in there once I'm in is longer. Okay? Once I'm in, I have a hard time getting out. Okay, now let's make the structure asymmetric. So we just keep the left barrier the same, but we make the structure asymmetric on the right. What happens is that the transmission coefficient for the asymmetric structure no longer goes to 1. So you can have perfect transmission only for perfectly symmetric structures. Let me repeat that. You can have perfect transmission only for symmetric structures. Who has, per, who has ever seen perfect symmetric structures in nanotechnology? Raise your hands. All right, good. No one. Okay? So if your theory is based on perfectly symmetric elements, and you're trying to do that in exper compare that to experiments, you're probably not going to do so well. Okay? Okay, so the point is, if you inject a current in a device like this, that's asymmetric, your current is going to be smaller than in the symmetric structure, because you're effectively integrating over this resonance, okay? And by the way, if you apply a voltage, that implies asymmetry, <coughs> okay? So if I compare, it's harder to see here, the dash line is here, up, down, up, down, that gives you a transmission coefficient that can deliver one transmission for one particular energy. If you have a bias that you have in a stick diagram like this, your transmission can never reach one. You build an asymmetry into this structure. And all of this you can play with uh, in this PCPBT tool. So the increased asymmetry reduces the resonance transmission and ultimately the current. Okay?